Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Don here. So today I'm with you with a magazine. So this is Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue number 234. And as you can see, um, oh, I think there's more than one die in there. Does it tell you how many dies are in? Uh, no. Um, anyway, we'll have a look in a minute. Um, so it is a Christmas themed gift set, so it can start our Christmas crafting off, hopefully. Uh, but this is Simply Cards and Paper Craft, issue number 234. Um, so as usual, I'm just going to open it up at a few random places, because uh, this is brand new. It has just come in. Um, so yeah, um, there is downloadable papers, I think, as well. Um, I don't download the papers, personally um so yeah anyway <laughs> let's open up so we've got some ideas on how you can create your uh, use your um your gifts this month i love that that looks lovely um oh if you want to subscribe you get this free hunky dory um a trimmer worth 50 pounds so it's a super sized guillotine has smooth stainless steel blade which gives a clean straight cut and can cut through card form leather felt and my ooh, is an essential tool for any paper craft and it's 12 by 12. I might actually look at getting one of them when I get my studio on somewhere to put it. Although I love my Tim Holtz one so probably won't. Um, I might do. I don't know. Anyway, ignore me guys. Ignore me because that sounds really good. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of uh, different ideas. So I've got a page here of baubles. So it, um, I've got loads of bauble stamps and dies, which really I should get out. Um, but yeah, loads of inspiration. There's always a lot of inspiration on. Now I have a feeling, and I'm hoping it isn't, but the, the next two to three issues is going to be Christmas. So let's have a look. It's the only problem with um, the magazines. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas, um, but yeah oh i was right actually uh, hello that looks quite nice so next issue of simply cards and paper craft is available on the 22nd of september and it is um festive layering stencils and stencil brush mm, that i quite like you do also get stencil book ring so you can put your um, you can link your stencils together that's how actually i do all of my stencils um so you have uh, rings on like all the different brands so I know which is which which is quite cool um but yeah I'm liking that I like the, the idea of those stencils so that'll be quite a nice issue to get so I'm glad it's not just um you know more stamps and stuff so it's nice it's something different so yeah um yeah so the papers are downloadable papers so that is the magazine let's have a look um at the gifts so we have this which is I'm going to take it out of its, um, what do you call it, its packaging, and it is this stamp set, um, which is absolutely beautiful, I love that, um, but I'm thinking instead of using it as a, like, as a bauble, we could maybe do something else, oh, I've got an idea, guys, I have, I've got an idea, hmm, Okay, so, um, yeah, we've got this bauble um, stamp, we've got some more baubles here, we've got filler stamps, um, there's quite a few actually of uh, snowflake stars, which are just a fabric, got a swirly whirly, um, you've got your little bow here for your uh, bauble, and then we've got a couple of sentiments, we've got the most wonderful time of year, deck of the halls, um, merry and bright and sparkle, oh, I've got an idea, I can't wait to try it actually. Hopefully it will look amazing. Hopefully, but we'll see. Cause and then we've got our die. Now I'm not going to use the die, I don't think, um, because obviously I've just oh you get quite a lot in here. So you're actually getting four dies. So you're getting your bauble shape. You're getting the Merry Christmas. Now what I really like about that Merry Christmas is we can use that as a sentiment. So. That will double up as a sentiment, which is nice. You've got the top of your um, bauble and as well as a little bow to go on as well. How, how cute is that? So that is the gifts this month. So let's put them away and let's grab some cardstock. Um, I'm just going to go in here actually and just grab something out of here. I'm not sure what we've got. Um, I've got loads of little bits. That'll do. Do you know what? I'm going to do a couple 
of pieces. Um, so yeah, this is all my scrap card that I go to first before I get new stuff out. So, right. And then I'm going to grab my, um, I don't think that'll fit that on, will it? No. So I need my bigger one out. The only problem is I've got everything in the way. Right, move my camera a second. Okay, so let's use the bigger one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take this and take it off here, if I can. Oh my goodness me. There we go. And stick it on there. Um, I'm going to grab my um, hybrid ink. So this is um, Black Shadow. It's my new favourite ink, actually. And what we're going to do, let's move one of these. Let's grab that. Move this out of the way. Um, is I'm just going to grab it. And we're just going to start stamping all over. Okay. So just like this. Now I'm trying not to get on my mat if I can help it. Okay, um, we're going to make a background with this. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that looking? So, okay. I'm going to do the whole thing. So, I'm just sort of moving it around so that the top of the bauble sort of goes in this gap. Um, because it just seems to fit in there perfectly. Okay. And then do over there. Loving that, right? I'm just going to pop this underneath because I think uh, we should be able to get two cards, hopefully, from this one piece. Because what I'm thinking is we do right up until to the edge. Like that. Okay. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving how that that's looking. And then yeah. So it just looks as though we've done a whole piece. Um like we've had we've got a massive like background stamp. In actual fact, we haven't. We're just using the bobble. Now there is a few gaps. But that's where this is going to come in handy, having those a little extra bits. So I'm going to stick that on there, and that and there, um, and that and there. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing! Okay, let's wipe that off. Now let's grab, I'm going to grab this snowflake off here. I don't know why I've just closed out because we need that. And then where there's gaps, so like here, we've got a gap. I'm just going to pop in. Oh, that went. I dropped it. I'm just going to pop in some snowflakes. Just in and around. Just to fill in those gaps. Like so. So going all the way around oh, like that and trying to get it so that the snowflakes are sort of here there and everywhere so even in the middle of some of the um, spots we're gonna just get it just so that they're sort of yeah although some of these are together which is fine um, that's that and that that definitely want that right so there we go that is our background now all i need to do is just add some color on um to this so there's a couple of ways we can do that we can do it with um our we can use well we can use any mediums really um i'm wondering actually i might do some colored pencils um or I was thinking the paint pens, but yeah, I'm not sure on them. Um, so bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to find my. Um, 
space. Okay, I've got some coloured pencils here. So these coloured pencils are actually from um, b &M. So I do have a review on them on my channel uh, somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to use them. So I've got, I just got an, a green and where all the green foliage is, I'm just going to colour it in like so. Um, and this doesn't have to be perfect. So yeah, so we're just going to do that. And I'm going to use a couple of different shades of green, I think. Um, I mean, I'm not being overly sort of particular on what I'm creating, if that makes any sense, like on where the colours are going. Um, but I think I'll keep like certain ones a certain colour. So like these ones will keep this colour and then I'll get a different green for a different leaf, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to colour this in like so and bring in that colour. Okay. Um, and then I think probably bring in some red for the berries. Okay, so let me just find a red. There's a nice red. So then I'll put some red on the berries just so you can get an idea of what it is that I'm doing. So where all those berries are, and there is quite a few. We'll just colour them in. It just gives us that pop of colour as well. So I'm going to ease, I'm trying to think, should I put you on speed or, or should I just go off camera um, to colour these? I think because I'm just going to be repeating what I'm doing now, I think um, I'll just go off camera. So once these are all coloured in, I will come back to you and we'll turn these into cards. So I'm hoping to get two cards out of these. Um, while I'm there as well, um, I'm going to die cut the Merry Christmas out. So um, hopefully, because I think that'll look nice on one and then um, I'll use one of the sentiments on the other. So I will be back when this is all coloured in. Okay, so I've coloured all of that in um, and it's looking fab. I think it just looks so cool. Um, so I'm going to cut this down into two panels. Now we're going to do, let me just get a couple of card bases out. Um, I'm going to do five and a half inches by um, four and a quarter. So it's an American A2 size. Um, but I'm going to cut my panels down to four by five and a quarter. Um, so I'm just going all the way around because I just want to take off those edges. So there's the first piece because I think I'm going to just mat it on. Um, but although I don't think we, we necessarily need to, but how nice does that look? And then see how big this piece is. So I oh, look at that four by um, four and a quarter, uh, five and a quarter. So I did just enough. Um, to make two cards with this how cool is that so again that's going to go on there now I have got this and I wasn't going to use the bauble but I think I might um, let me grab some scrap card so I'm going to go with dark green actually for both of them um, just checking if there's any card I don't think there is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of this to be um, five and a quarter by, um, let's do by two, okay, because that I'm thinking we can pop that across there, we can have that on there, but then to go behind that I'm thinking maybe a red, let's have a look. Right, just grabbing my scrap card stock for this so yeah I think so so what I'm gonna do is cut a bit off here and then just grab my I think actually I put that bit too small no no ah, that's perfect yeah I'm gonna do that and then with the other one so that I keep the red on um I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do five and a quarter um I'm gonna do this at at uh, two and a half and then do the green bit 
at two so that we've got the stripes on so i'm trying to keep them quite similar um to each other so let's have a look let's see what we can do with this let's see how um how they turn out right so first of all i'm just going to grab my mini gemini because uh, these do actually fit in with the mini one which is quite good because i can't get out my big one at the minute um so I'm just going to pop that through there, like that, okay, and then I'm just going to pop that away, because you only need to run through once, which is quite nice, so I'll put them back in the bag, and then that's them put away, um, and out of the way as well, so... And then I'm going to grab this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my glue. I'm actually going to grab the um, precision one, so the one with the micro tip on because I think it'll work perfectly for this one. Okay, so I'm hoping that yeah, it's still coming out. That's really cool. I thought it would have blocked by now, but it still hasn't, which is really good. Um, I have been working with this, so all my videos are sort of a bit like back to front, so some, um, so you might hear in a, a couple of weeks that I've just started using this micro tip, um, but yeah, I've been using it now for about two, three weeks, and it's still going strong, I love it, absolutely love it. So I did get that tip from Nouveau, uh, from Tronic Studios, from their website. Okay, we're going to stick that on there. Now, you can see the glue, but that's fine because um, my glue does dry clear. So, we're then just going to stick this bit down. Okay, I'm just going to do it right across the centre. And then, let's get my other glue just because it comes out quicker okay and then I'm going to stick that onto my card base like so I'm liking that and then that's just going to sit in the centre there so let's glue that down okay and that's going to sit on that like that oh, how nice does that look so there's our first card all done i'm going to put some gems on as well because i do feel like we need gems um let me just put this back oh, although we will be needing it for this one um put that back in there so for this card um let's glue all of our bits and pieces down so again, oh, make sure we've got it as straight as we can. And then I'm going to glue this red piece like so. And then the green piece down like that really liking that now i'm going to grab my tweezers so i've managed to keep everything together so we do have oh i've just need it we do have merry now i'm not sure where i'm going to have them i'm thinking that i'm going to have them just in the center like that yeah so let's do that so using our precision tip i'm just going to pop some glue on so, so I love that this die actually gives you the options of both ways for a sentiment. I think that's quite cool. And then stick that on there. Okay. And then we're going to do this one as well. Again, just pop in some little dabs of glue on all the way around wasn't sure what I was going to do actually at first with um, 
for this stamp set because I wanted to do something a little different so it wasn't until I started showing you guys you know the gift that you got in um yeah that I got an idea and I'm loving it I love that we can make a background piece oh, that looks lovely and then we do have some of these flowers and some of these little um like flourishes so i'm thinking actually maybe instead of adding in let me just take all of these out instead of adding in gems add some of these bits onto the other one as well so let's do that because we've got i'm just going to pop we've got some tiny little dot ones which i think will just look lovely like that so pop them on yeah and then maybe one there because i found another one oh, if we can pick that up there is so really really small and then this one oh there's another one there I pop that on there so we've got those um we do have I'm trying to work out what that is I don't know and then we have these which actually that might look nice there and then i think we'll have these just on either side of it yeah so i think that's what i'm going to do i think that yeah that looks really nice so I uh, don't need this anymore. Let's pop that away. And then let's pick these up. Oh. Okay. So stick that down there. And then, oh, no, I don't want it there. Okay. And then, oh, dropping it. That's no good, is it? Dropping it. Right. Pop some glue down and then that can just sit there. Oh, how cute is that? Isn't that lovely? Now we do have a, a few bits there, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I think I'm just going to leave that as is. And then on this one, let's get these and we will, yeah, pop them just at the side um just as for that little extra detail i think that really works just saves us getting our gems out and then we're just using exactly what apart from cardstock from our stash we're using the gifts but there there's my two cards how gorgeous are those i don't know whether to put a little banner in there i don't think so right so um it, these were made using uh, Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue number 234. How gorgeous are those? So we've made a background and then using the die just with some gold cardstock um, from our stash and then some red and green. Um, and that's what we've came up with. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I think that this die is such a lovely die to have um, because you can do, there's two different sort of things that you can do with it. You can have it just as a Merry Christmas sentiment or you can have it as a barble, which I just think both look really, really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how they've turned out. Um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and there is links in the, the uh, description box below to craft stash where you can buy this magazine from if you wish to purchase it um it is an affiliated link which means that um even though um if you use my link i will get a small commission um for you using that link however um it doesn't cost you anything extra it just helps support my channel and helps um to bring free videos your way um with the magazines so that that's all that it does um but yes thank you ever so much for watching um, um, yeah let me know which card is your favorite i think mm, i really don't know i want to say this one but then i keep uh, yeah i'm going to say this one so let me know which one is your favorite and i will leave it there guys thank you all so much for watching and until next time please do take care and happy crafting bye